Tonight, the Baldwin County housing boom and the overcrowding it has caused in local schools could soon be reined in if one local lawmaker gets his way. State Senator Chris Elliott says it is high time developers and schools talk with each other before big subdivisions break ground. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey picks up the story from there. Yeah, Greg and Kim, case in point, Jubilee Farms right here, a massive subdivision will be built here, more than 900 homes in Bell Forest. The problem, the school system here in Baldwin County was totally blindsided by this project in 2017. It's the sound of new home construction in Baldwin County. Explosion, a huge explosion, yes, all of a sudden. Staff need has grown so much to where I think they're busting at the seams. Mm -hmm. The growth has caused some major growing pains, particularly for Baldwin County Public Schools. Definitely concerned about the overcrowding. The issue, subdivisions are being built, but no one is consulting with the school system ahead of time. It was one of the things that frustrated me early on was from a planning standpoint. Now a plan to address it. State Senator Chris Elliott is introducing a bill that would force developers to notify the school superintendent of a planned neighborhood before they break ground. The superintendent would then have the opportunity to speak up and say if there's enough capacity. The Planning Commission would take that under advisement before approving the development. The, the goal is to make sure that the school system has a voice because they are, they are largely impacted by this development um, and to make sure that they have the ability to adequately plan um, for that development. Elliott says it won't stop the sound of construction, but it will force the voices on both sides to be heard. That would be great. Schools need to know ahead of time what's coming so that they can anticipate the increased student load. Mm -hmm. As a former school teacher myself, that's important. Now, this would only apply to neighborhoods with 100 lots or more and only applies uh, to Baldwin County. Baldwin County Public Schools absolutely in support of this bill. In fact, they're the ones who reached out to Senator Elliott for legislative help. Reporting live tonight in Baldwin County, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15.